Hey there Rec Room, Anxi here. In today's CV2 tutorial, we're going to be going over how exactly you can make an easy CV2 code inputted teleporter. This teleporter will let you put in any code you want and teleport you to a place of your choosing. Well then, without further ado, let's get right into it. So now that I'm on screen mode, I'm going to show you how to do this method. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to pull out our maker pin. We can do that by looking at our watch, clicking on backpack, and clicking on use on the maker pin. It's going to appear right in front of you. We're just going to pick that right up. Um, so what I've already went ahead and done is I've made myself a surface. You should as well uh, for the surface snapping option. I'm going to get into that in just a second. So surface snapping is basically the world space that your objects will snap on. Surface snapping is really good for circuits just to keep it all organized. So that's what I'm going to be using right now. If you need to get a wall, just use a cube. So the first thing we're going to need is the most crucial part of this, and that's going to be a roll chip. So I'm just going to type in roll, and it's going to be the first one right there. I'm going to come over here and snap it right onto my wall. I'm going to click configure on this. doesn't matter about any of the settings. Just make sure that you edit it to your world's needs uh, I'm just gonna be changing the name of it just because it's just the teleport role so I'm gonna change the name to teleport T E L E P O R T teleport so the next thing we're going to be doing is spawning in a button v2 you could also use a trigger volume or any other thing that will allow you to press or go inside of but I'm just gonna be using a button for this tutorial so I'm just going to type in button, B-U-T-T-O-N. Uh, button V2 should be right here. Going to spawn this button in right here. So the next few chips that we'll need are really easy to find. We're just going to, again, use this little search tool, which is right there. And we're going to type in if player. And then the first thing you should see is if player is local. We're just going to spawn that in right over here close to our button v2 I'm going to again open up my palette and then search prompt local player uh, I just typed in prompt and it popped up prompt local player I'm just gonna select that spawn it in directly under our if player is local chip the next chip we're gonna be needing is the string contains chip I'm just gonna search that up right here in the search tool again string contains that's going to be holding all of our values all of our roles all of our things that we need so the next chip I'm going to be using is the if chip if I'm going to spawn that right here to this side of the prompt local player and then the final kind of chip we'll need to teleport the player actually is going to be player add roll so that's right here select that spawn that in directly under the if chip um, there are going to be a few more little circuit pieces that we're going to be using a little later on just to show you how to remove the roll after the players went in there so stay tuned for that but I'm just going to show you how to wire all of these together right now so I'm just going to wire if the button is pressed you're gonna prompt the local player I'm going to go ahead and configure my prompt title to enter code. So, enter code. You could also put enter four digit, five digit, six digit, whatever you want to put as your code. Uh, so, that's going to be the prompt title. And then, doesn't really matter what that is. Uh, enter four digit code. That's going to be our actual prompt. So that's just going to pop up after you press the button. Show you that now. You can open up and it'll say enter four digit code. <laughs> May have spelled digit wrong, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to head back over to my wire tool and I'm just going to wire the top output pin up here to the input of if the player is local. That's going to get the player that does press it. And we're just going to come back over here and wire player to if the player is local. So that's going to get the player 
and make sure they're local with this chip right here. That's all we're going to be wiring for the if player is local chip. So we're just going to head over here and wire if it's complete. You're just going to wire it to the input of the if chip. Uh, so we're going to wire response down over here to string contains. That's going to get the string. And this is where you input your code. I'm just going to be using the code 0000, but you can really use any code that you want. So I'm just going to type in 0000. That's going to be my code for right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my wire tool back out and wire the result to the Boolean condition of the if chip. The next thing we're going to be doing is wiring then to player add role. We're going to come back over here, get our player add the role to them and then we're going to come back over here look at our role chip name minus teleport yours may be different but I'm just going to come back over here and type in teleport so that's going to be T-E-L-E-P-O-R-T -E -E that's going to have that bit set up so what we're going to actually do now is we're going to get our actual teleporter set up so the way I'm going to be doing this is setting up an area which I want the code to be actually accessible. So I'm just going to type in trigger and then trigger volume would be the first one. We're going to make sure that it's the V1 version and not the V2. So we're going to head over here, turn my snapping off of grid and I'm just going to, sorry, onto grid not and then off of surface. We're going to make ourselves a little box use the manipulate tool to manipulate it to the area of our room that we're going to be using I'm just going to make a small diagram for this tutorial so just make sure that it's big enough for your area because it's going to get all the players that put in the code in this area and teleport them so it's only going to be for the person that puts it in it'll give them the role so the other thing I'm going to be doing is getting the place where they're going to be teleported to. So we're going to actually search up respawn and type and then actually choose respawn point. So this is going to be where you want the player to respawn. I'm just going to head over here, spawn it in right here. And then I'm going to bring out the wire tool, which is right here. Wire spawn player here now to if currently in zone it's gonna teleport you if you walk into it but the thing we're gonna be doing is filtering the role what filtering the role is gonna do is it's going to actually get the people with the role that you have over here and it's only gonna make it accessible to them so I'm gonna configure that and then filter by role would be right here I'm just gonna type in my role uh, my role is teleport T E L E P O R T. I'm going to click enter or whatever you need to do. And then we're just going to X off of this. So I'm going to walk inside of this and it's not going to teleport me because I do not have the role to get the role. We're just going to click this button. It's going to prompt us. And then I'm going to type in my code. My code was zero, 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 zero. Now it's going to teleport me to where I wanted to go. So that's going to be it for actually teleporting them there and every time they walk into this area it will teleport them but I want to be able to have to put in the code every time so if you're the same as me I'm just gonna show you how to do that right now so we're going to be using a trigger volume version 2 trigger volume you see that right here trigger volume version 2 and make sure my snapping is on grid gonna come over here and then I'm just going to put the trigger volume inside of my area so if yours is unaligned like mine I'm just gonna click manipulate manipulate this down and fill the area where my player is gonna be spawning so that's about right shouldn't spawn outside unless you have a particular setting on but this is gonna be for the average user so I'm just gonna now open my palette again and we're gonna get the last chip of this video that chip being player, remove role. So it's going to be this first one right here. And then I'm just going to spawn it in right beside this. And then I'm going to bring out my wire tool and change if the player enters 
and then we're going to get our player that enters it's going to remove the role which is teleport that's the role that i set up t-e-l-e-p-o-r-t -E so now whenever i come inside of this area it's going to remove the role and when i come back in here it will not teleport me again so what I'm going to have to do is type in the code again, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then it will teleport me, and I'll be inside of the trigger volume, and it will remove my roll. I'm going to come back in here again, and as you can see, it will not work. That's pretty much going to be it for today's video. I'll see you in the outro. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This has been more of a laid back new type of video style that I wanted to try out. If you enjoyed this style of a video, just make sure that you let me know in the comments or any other place. That's going to be it for today's video though. I'll see you in the next one.